what was your favorite subject at school? Subject, I mean like maths, Italian, geography, history. Yeah. What was your favorite subject at school? Um, because we're talking okay. about school today. Yeah. Um, so, right, we're waiting for the answers. Uh, can you see? We're waiting, we're waiting for people to turn up at the moment. We're waiting for people oh, to all arrive. Right. Okay. All right. Okay. So, what, what was your favorite subject at school? I had. Well, my favorite subject was music. I think. Usually, music. Music. Yeah, because oh, we. All right. We didn't study very much. <laughs> We <laughs> we played around in the class. We were terrible, um, but our teacher was very soft. So mm -hmm. uh, and he was very friendly. So he was he was okay if we if we played around in the, in the classroom. So all right, yeah, during so the music, music was my favorite. All right, okay. So you liked to go there? Yeah, we also sang. And we played instruments, and we we wrote some music as well, and we learned um, we learned a lot about music, about classical music, mm -hmm. about also music from the sixties, like the Beatles, Brit British music. How about you, Em? What was your favorite subject at school? Well, it depends. Um, uh, elementary school, the English language, I would say. Um, secondary school, uh, so the English language was rather easy for me, but I would say my, my, my favorite was um, economics. Yeah, economics, commerce, economics. Uh, well, I was good at economics, okay, and uh, I kept studying hard to be a science student. Um, it, which in the end uh, didn't work out because my physics was a disaster but I was um, really good at economics yeah why did you like economics why did you like it it, just, it, it was just um, it was quite logical I, I I just understood it you know it made sense to me you know at that level i mean it was not complicated uh, the lessons were clear i was able to do well in exams and tests so basically it turned out to be my best results in the final exams in the end okay and how was uh, your economics teacher what was, what was she like or he like all right the, the one that made me fall in love uh, 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 much more and she was my economics teacher for uh, class three, four, and five in the high school, okay? okay. And yeah, yeah, she was the teacher for, um, in all those classes. Uh, an Indian lady uh, whose husband was a chemistry teacher. Yeah. Right? I remember in another webinar, we mentioned a number of these things, but it was not about education, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Good. Well, we don't have anybody replying at the moment. It's a quiet evening, the 28th of April. Nobody is studying English, mm -hmm. apparently. Um, zero people watching, but whatever. Oh, um, really? So, yeah. It's already another of my favorite. Hours. Another Another of my favorite subjects was English literature. Because I liked, I liked acting, recitare, mm -hmm. to act. I was good at acting at school. And oh. when, we, when we read books in my English mm -hmm. literature class, I read uh, aloud, um, mm -hmm. alto voce, the, the book. And I and I enjoyed it, and I think my classmates oh. enjoyed it as well when I oh, read. Okay. Well, lot. and of course, I think if the teacher also picks you out to read, it's usually because you are good, 
or yeah. better than the others. Yeah. Mm. And oh. um, so, zero people. Come on. We. I want. I want students. This so we have. Be, uh, oh, we have one person coming in and out. Hello. Hello. Tell us in the comments what was your favorite subject at school? Maths, Italian, economics, uh, English literature. Italian. What What did you hate? What didn't you like at school? And was there a subject that you didn't like? Oh, uh, it's very strange. At secondary school, uh, first two years, I didn't like mathematics because the teacher was, um, uh, you know, difficult to follow. And then, strangely, in the third year, I started to like mathematics and I became an average mathematics student. Uh, in the end, uh, we had another teacher. So I think the teacher often makes a lot of difference, especially when you are young. Um, yeah. Okay. Teacher makes a lot of difference. Yeah, that's very true. You, If you have a nice teacher, you will study better. You will study the subject better, surely. Um, what about you? Did you have, did you have um, subjects that you didn't like at school? I didn't like PE, physical physical education. Oh, okay. All right. Um, so uh, you 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 were not dreaming about playing in the in the Premier League. <laughs> I was always I was always the last person to be chosen for the football team. All right. Yeah. Okay. You were not interested in any any sports at all. I mean, cycling no. or other things. Okay. Um, no. Well, no, I like cycling and running and playing rugby, but um, I, I I didn't like football. Never. I, I was oh. never interested in football. And in PE, physical education, we always played football. Mm. So, um, so, so, so yeah, that's I why think. it was not your best. Yeah. Okay. Um, we have two people watching. Hello. What did you like? What didn't you like studying at school? What was your favorite subject? Uh, what was your favorite? What was your least favorite subject at school? Maths, Italian, English literature, PE. Tell us in the tell us in the comments. Oh. Okay. Well. If nobody talks to us, then we'll just have to continue. Well, do we have any answers coming? No. Do we have any answers coming? No. Uh, oh, okay. So, uh, uh, Ben, what happened later on at the university? I mean, uh, you did you continue with your acting? Did you keep studying acting? Or oh, what? I, I, stu I acted in a, in a, a theatre group in a society at school, uh, university rather. Oh. At mm -hmm. university, I, I performed in, um, in some plays, and, but I didn't oh. study it. Um, I didn't, I, unfortunately, I didn't study it. Uh, uh, do, do you think it's necessary to only. study acting uh, in order to act? Um, well, it's like, with any skill, you can mm. learn through um, getting experience, so acting as a job, mm -hmm. or you can learn through um, education. You know, like with any. Uh, uh, could, could I mean? Skill. Yeah, I mean, we we are all we're human beings. I mean, you know, it's it's not like um, uh, a science subject or something else. I mean. Uh, we're acting somehow every day in life, aren't we? Yes, <laughs> so. but not anybody can act. Right now, about that, are there people who have a natural talent to act? Yeah. So that they don't really need a formal education, um, formal training, and um, they could just act. Yeah. Right. Well, um, let's continue with the, the focus. Uh, looking at simple past, past school experiences, there was and there were. Now, 
if nobody talks to us, um, we will we will go through the focus and finish it early. That's All right. Okay. Zero people. Education. We're asking these questions in pairs. We'll take turns. Then. Number one. All right. So number one, did you like going to school when you were a child? Number, number two, two, where was your school? And then number three, what didn't you like about school? Tell us in the comments. And, yeah, I think these are questions that everybody will have an answer for. And then we um, have a quote as well. The two best times of the year are Christmas morning and the end of school. Yes. That's a quote well, from you. I usually agree with the. Do you agree? I usually agree, but at the moment, uh, at the uh, moment, I prefer to go to school. Who? Uh, I no, I, I don't agree with that. I enjoy all of them. I mean, they're all different. Um, so I enjoy them in different ways. And um, I think if you didn't have school and other things, you. Uh, might not be able to enjoy Christmas the way you do. I mean, it's because you miss it. You do other things that are not like Christmas. Uh, that's why you enjoy it better. So, um, did you say that there are already people there, Phil? No, nobody. No. All right. So, okay. Did you like case? going to school when you were a child? Oh, well, there's one person yeah. that keeps coming in and out. Hello. Answer the questions in the comments. Did you like going to school when you were a child? What was your school? Where was your school? What didn't you like about school? M, why don't you answer the first one? Did you like going to school when you were a child? Oh, yeah, I did. I liked going to school when I was a child. Um, uh, something about my school uh, at elementary level, which I didn't particularly like, um, uh, I was in the afternoon session of that school. Yeah, right. and um, so some others went in the morning, and then we went in the afternoon. So school for me was from 12 to 4 p.m., okay? Uh, and then later on, it was it from 1.30 to 6 p.m. or so. Yeah, all through elementary school, that was it. Right, okay. Uh, what um, about you? Did you like going to school when you were a child? Yes, I did. Um, yeah, I I always enjoyed school. Um, I was a good student. I didn't study very much, but I was I was bright enough to to do the well in the class. Problems, yeah. Um, bright means intelligent, doesn't it? Bright. Yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, I did. I w I did well in school. Um, I had a good group of friends in school as well, so I was happy. I was a happy student. Oh, okay. And, um, uh, where, where, and where was your school? My school was in my little town. It took ten or fifteen minutes for me to walk to school in the every morning um that i had a primary school middle school and high school in some all in the same building and no um three separate schools three different schools not okay. the same right. oh hello hello alicia and hello luke luca thank you for coming all right, we got. Uh, let's reach uh, it today. Hello, I did. I liked school so much. Okay, that's very good. Uh, where are you, Alice? And oh, there is Luca Pirilli. Hello, Phil and M. How are you? I'm Luca from Novara. I don't know how long I joined you because I will have dinner. Okay, he doesn't know how long you'll be with us. Okay, it's good to have you, Luca. Fine. But yeah, it's nice yeah. to it's nice to hear from you. Anyway, I spoke to okay. Rodrigo today. The, your your director. I had a conversation with him. He's well. <laughs> um, Lucas said yes. He liked going to school when he was a child. Okay, good. Okay. Continue on, guys. Continue, Luca and Anita. 
Thank you for your answers. Uh, so yeah, I had three different schools, all in my town, but in different locations. Oh, okay. And they were all um, at a walking distance. You yeah, were able um, to walk to all of them. So 15 minutes maybe from my house, yeah. Okay, that's very good. Uh, Lucas says, really, how do you know him? Well, I know Rodrigo because he worked in, uh, in, in Milano before he moved to, uh, to Nevada. Lucas says, Rodrigo is a, is a good boy. Now, boy <laughs> is like a bambino, ragazzino. Well, maybe he's joking. Maybe you yeah. say, Rodrigo is a good guy. Uh, so, you... okay. So, uh, Alicia just... says, uh, yeah, you can go ahead then, Phil. Okay, yeah. my, uh, her, her school was close to her house, but she had mm. to take the bus. Ah, okay. Well, okay, um, so she didn't like, she didn't like walking. Alicia, you didn't like walking. Yeah, I uh, know, she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. She didn't like doing physical exercises. Okay. Very good. Uh, maybe that's the third. I think that's the answer to the third question. What didn't you like about school? She oh, didn't like PE, the uh, physical education, okay. maybe. Well, that's, that's, that's like Phil. So, um, yeah. is it Luca is in Novara, and uh, where is Alice? Where are you, Alice? Yeah, which I... I don't Milano, remember, but I Nevada, think in the Verona. I think maybe in the south or in the center oh. of Italy. In the center, I don't remember. Alicia, we've met Alicia before. Hmm. Um, yeah, Luca, uh, answer question number three. What didn't you like? Oh, number two as well. Okay. Luca Instead. says, uh, my school was not so close, so I went to school by bus. That's very good. Okay. was okay. not so close, so I went to school by bus. That's um, very correct, Luca. Yeah, very good. very good. Lovely sentence structure there. Uh, yeah, I didn't like doing exercise either, um, but I liked spending time with my friends. Is there something you didn't like, um? Is it what didn't you like about school? Well, so the fact about going to school um, not very early in the morning was a little awkward, and then um, uh, secondary school. I don't know if we did this lesson before. I lived in the boarding school. Um, I lived in the hostel. It was a boarding school. I lived in the hostel. Uh, uh, I loved it, but you know, you're away from your family for long periods of time, and at the same time, you bonded with lots of uh, people who uh, became like brothers. Uh, I was at a boys' school. I didn't like the disciplinary measures of the school. Sometimes they were exaggerated. Yeah. Uh, there. Okay, the so you went to school. boarding school, and it was very strict, right? Yeah, too strict sometimes. Boarding school? And, How do you say um, boarding school in Italian? In Italian, I think they would say collegio. In collegio. The fact that you live there, yeah. you eat there, um, collegio. Yeah, that's what it says. Or uh, mm. convito. Or collegio, yeah. And it was very strict, you, like um, severo, se, se, um, severo, severo. Yeah. Strict. So yes. Okay. Uh, so Lucas said he, he didn't like maths. He really hated it. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no. So I can tell that Luca is not an engineer today. <laughs> He's not an engineer. <laughs> definitely not. He's not an engineer today. Yeah. Anyway. Um, okay. Very good. Thank you. So, thank you for your for your answers, there, guys. Right, we're looking for uh, different levels of school. A, B, C, D, and E. We have kindergarten, elementary school, middle school, high school, and university. Now, if you know a different vo uh, piece of vocabulary for schools, write it in the comments. There are different names as well, or match the uh, 
the vocabulary to the picture. You have kindergarten, elementary school, middle school, high school, and university. And tell us also which. So, do you know any other vocabulary for school? Yeah. Uh, this is this is quite simple, I think. Um, A, B, C, D, and E. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if the, so, see if the uh, students can. Let's see. Answer. So Alice and uh, Luca. We have only Alice and Luca there. Do you say there are other people or just the two of them? Okay. We have a we have a comment from Luca. Can you read them? L Luca says, "I wasn't good in maths. I wasn't good at maths." I always had brutti voti in English. Okay. Uh, he means bad scores. I think brutti he voti. always had bad uh, scores. Low bad scores. results. Yeah, yeah, you could low, say says, low scores, low, low scores, poor low marks. Low, well, low marks. At. I wasn't good in or I wasn't at. good at. Okay. Low marks or low scores, bad results in English. Okay. Well, now you are improving your English, Luca. Look at you. Yeah. Uh, you should be proud of yourself. <laughs> I give you I give you full marks. Today, Luca, for, for for joining us this evening. Well, let's see if you can get a hundred percent with these pictures. Can you match them together? Sorry, uh, should we match them? Yeah, let's waiting for waiting them to, for, um, to yeah. respond. Go on, Luca, match the pictures to the to the vocabulary a b c d and e or obviously uh alicia can do it as well alicia we'll give you the first one a is a middle school B. We don't have anyone answering yet. Okay, Lucas. Lucas now answering. So A. Middle school. Okay. Yeah, well uh, done. Lucas is middle school. B. All right. B. He has elementary school. Oh, B is oh, a kindergarten. kindergarten. Yeah. Hmm. C, high school, yeah. Do we still have more answers coming? Uh, C is a high school, D, Elementary school and finally F okay. is a university because he didn't say E because he mixed the two. Well done, Luca. Now tell us which was your favorite and why? All which right, your favorite so and why? Uh, so which, which do you want to go first? Which was your favorite? Oh, my favorite was high school hmm. because um, I studied, I, I focused all my attention on the four things that I wanted to study, um, okay. except for drama, but drama was not an option in my hmm. school, unfortunately. I studied, in, in high school, I studied German language, English literature, music, and history hmm. and um it was difficult but uh 
Yeah, I I didn't study the subjects that I didn't want to study. It was it was great. And I think maybe I I did my the, my best writing was when I was in high school, not when I was in university. Oh, okay. Did, did you publish anything? No, 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 no. But um, oh, right. Okay. On a computer somewhere, mm -hmm. maybe on a broken computer, I have uh, an essay, a report from high school that I'm very proud of. Oh. This one. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. You still remember what it was about? Yeah, you it was about. It was about. It was about evil, cattivo, in three different pieces of. Um, of literature. Othello is one oh. of them. Talking about Iago. We need to talk about Kevin and the Clockwork Orange. Oh. Study of evil in three different books. Yeah. Oh. But I was really I was really proud of it. But uh, it's gone. <laughs> anyway. Well, I'm was, rambling on. Phase, important phase, Which was your yeah. favorite and why? Uh, my favorite was high school because I studied the subjects that I wanted to study. And you, um? Uh, my favorite was high school as well. Uh, w not only because I studied, well, there was a combination. I was able to study. I was, you know, I wanted to be a science student. So I was concentrating on physics, chemistry, and math. But I had, um, I, I went through, I had, I did well in English language without, without problems. But I was uh, involved in the debate team of the school, very, very active from my first year till my final year. And that was a very important extracurricular activity. Uh, and um, from my third year, um, I became a speaker for the school, so if we were invited to a debate competition, we were challenged, I went to speak for my school. So okay, that was okay. very, very fulfilling. Yeah. Lucas says my favorite one was elementary school because the teachers <laughs> let us play a lot and because I knew some people who I still see now, they are my childhood friends now. Lovely, oh, wonderful, past simple, They're very mm -hmm. good, excellent. I enjoyed that. You knew some people who I, you still see now. Mm. Do, do you have childhood friends that you still see now, Phil? Yeah, I do. Um, I still see them when I go home to England, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, but I don't the, speak to them regularly. Well, but you're in contact with them with uh, yeah, through social on media. Facebook or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Same thing for me. I have contacts from elementary school. Really? All all through, but you know they were my they, they were my friends. They were not. Some were not really close at the time. In a few cases, we ended up in the same high school. That that's where we became we became friends. So we have been in we are in touch now. Yeah. Um, okay. Very good. So um, we're moving on to subjects now. Um, we'll go through the subjects. So can you read? Um, okay. So uh, subjects match the subjects to the pictures. We have math, science, history, geography, arts and uh, music. So math, American, math, mm -hmm. British. So we, we both speak British English. So we say maths, is that right, Em? Yeah. It's, be it's better, isn't it? Math, Ugh. All Right. Maths. Uh, maths, yeah, maths. So that, I'm, I'm sure there's another subject that they say maybe sport instead of PE. Maybe they say sport. Um, yeah. So match pictures to the subjects A, B, C, D, E, and F. 
Now, I believe that first piece of art was made by a monkey. Like really, uh, or not a monkey, but uh, an ape. It was um, it was a prank that people, um, uh, an art, an artist um, made a, uh, an ape or a, a monkey do some paintings and they and put it in a museum. And these critics saying, "Oh, it's it's genius. What is it? Is is fantastic?" And it was just a monkey with a paintbrush. And I think it's that. I, I will show you the article later. I'm not. I'm not joking. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. In fact, I, I, you know, I was a bit lost. You mean uh, that's a true story regarding the, the first painted? Picture? Yeah, it's a true story. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, I think Pierre or something. Pierre, artist monkey. Yeah, Pierre Brasso. Um, Brasso. Uh, we have some answers. A, B, okay, C, D, E, and F. So, M, you want to go through it? Okay. Well, Luca, I mean, um, he has. Look, here I can see F, geography. Yeah. A was art. Yeah. B. B. Maths. Math. C, history. The science, the, the science, the music, and F, geography. Um, now, two questions. Um, would you read the questions, please? All right. Okay. Question one: uh, What was your favorite subject? What was your least favorite subject? And then, question two: Who was your favorite teacher? Yeah. Now, if I, yeah. Um, answer the question so okay uh so yeah what was your favorite least favorite subject who was your favorite teacher and why okay now i'm going to share my screen um, with a different, um, well, with a, an image of the artist of the first picture. So you can see that I'm not joking. Oh, okay, let's see. Okay, here is uh, Pierre Brasseur. He was a, a chimpanzee and he made paintings in the 60s oh. and this oh, really? is his famous is one of his famous pieces as you see in the in the uh, lesson it is what it is this piece yeah yeah it is it is it is yeah pierre brasso wow. i i think it's a beautiful piece of art don't you think yes it is i mean i really yeah. like it see if you go to tate this modern one. in london you see uh, all kinds of things that yeah. um, Pass for modern art. Okay, so uh, I will I will share the screen again with the mm. with the art. No, with the with this not with the art. Excuse me, <laughs> with the lesson. Yeah. Lucas says with the slides, the lesson. Well, so thanks for that information. So next time I'm going to say it <laughs> as if you know, I, as as if I knew it, you know. As if I've always known it all along. Right. Yeah. Uh, so if you, yeah, uh, Monkey His Painting, his name is Pierre Brassau. If you want to look at more, if you want to research about him. And there is a little bit of controversy. Is like, was it, was it really a monkey? Did it was it a, a true story or not? But I will leave you. I will let you decide. Um, so Lucas said, well, yeah, I'll I look it up." Yeah, physical education. Whereas, ooh, that's beautiful. Whereas, uh, like uh, Perro or Invece, Invece, my least oh, wow. favorite Respect. subject was maths. As I said before, 
Luca, some lovely, lovely uh, structure there. Thank as I said before. Uh, yeah. Um, what about your favorite teacher, Luca? Who was your favorite teacher and why? My favorite. Ah, because um, I think you said because um, you so, the, the teachers let you play a lot, right? So maybe that's maybe they are maybe they were your favorite. All oh, right, okay, that's the one where he said the teacher let them play. Yeah, I think so. Um, my favorite teacher was Mr. Windsor. He was very inspirational because he he was a fantastic pianist. And um, he oh. inspired me a lot um, musically. And he interested me in mm. different types of music, like uh, Wagner, and, uh, rock music, and jazz. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. He was also interested in rock music. Yeah, also, he okay. also liked Lucas says ahead. my favorite teacher. Oh, okay. Lucas says my favorite teacher was my economics teacher because I could talk about everything and I needed something. He was available to help me. Oh, let's say he was helpful. He was helpful. Would you say he was available to help me? He was there. He was always there to help me. Okay. He was always there, I think. And is economics, plural economics. Yeah. Okay. So okay. I didn't have a favorite teacher all time favorite teacher had different favorite teachers at different phases so we uh we have was and where uh should we share those you you can start yeah um, so number one what was your favorite teacher like and number two what were your friends like number three my met how many te students were there in your class Right, number four, what were you like as a student? Number five, what were you good at? And number six. Number six, how was your school? How was okay. your school? So we can think of some different adjectives. So what was your favorite teacher like? Well, my favorite teacher was inspiring helpful, um, funny, patient, funny, patient, patient. Uh, and friendly. Yeah. And he wasn't strict. He wasn't strict or um, impatient or um, unhelpful, unhelpful. So these are some adjectives. So, so what was your favorite teacher like? Maybe he was handsome or she was pretty. Maybe that's why it was your favorite teacher. <laughs> I know some students can be, oh, 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 oh no. Luca. Uh, Luca, sorry guys, I have to go. Dinner is ready anyway. Thank you for your time and see you soon on YouTube. See okay, you soon. then bye bye, Luca. Take Enjoy down, Luca. your dinner. Yeah, bye bye. Luca said, What's your next lesson? Um, oh, I don't know. Uh, uh, maybe don't it's. Know. We have a webinar tomorrow, Phil, together. Um, is, it, is it one tomorrow? Um, I, uh, have I, one. I have one tomorrow at. 7 p.m. 6 to 7. Mm. Phil, you can catch Phil at 7 p.m. tomorrow at 6 to 7. Focus. And um, you can catch. Uh, oh, when can you catch M? Um, maybe not this week. Not this week. I, I don't know. Okay. 
Right. All right. Um, um, what were your friends like? Well, my friends were. So you can. How can you describe attitude at school? You can say well behaved, or the opposite, naughty. So well behaved. It's a, a good um, good behavior. Um, like a good student, quiet student, naughty. They they make problems in the class. Okay, so you have well behaved students and naughty students. M, were you well behaved or naughty? Were you a cheeky monkey? Yeah, <laughs> I think I was well behaved. Mm. Yeah, I think I was well behaved. Yeah, right. Right. You know. Uh, yeah. 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 I you weren't. Was, uh, you I weren't cheeky. I. I wasn't. I wasn't a particularly difficult uh, student. Um, well, to some people, other students, maybe I wasn't. I had my friends and my uh, uh, my my group of friends. So I might not have been very friendly to people outside that group. <laughs> right. So, yeah. Birbante, you say, cheeky, right? All right. Italian, Birbante, so like a cheeky monkey. Um, I, I could be a little cheeky at school, but usually I was well behaved. Um, question number three, how many students were there in your class? So to answer this question, how do you answer this question, M? How many students were there, there in were your there, class? There, there were. Good. There, there were. were. How many students were there in your class, M? Well, different class, different numbers at different stages. But let, let, let's say there were about... Um, 25 to 30 students. Wow, 25 to each time. 30 students in M's class. I think there were about 20 students in my class. There were 20 students. Okay. Oh, what were you like as a student? So this is the same, you know, we can say well behaved, naughty, we can say studious, uh, quiet, cheeky, which is Banter, students are quiet. Um, what were you like? I think I was, I was a good student. I was quiet. I wasn't too bad. But my friends, some of my friends were naughty. They they were in trouble always. Uh, number five. What were you good at? And what were you good at at school? So same things. I was good at English language, and uh, I was good at debate competitions, as extracurricular activity. I was really involved. Um, I wasn't good at um, any sports in particular. I played football with friends, but I wasn't really good at any sports. Oh, I was good at table tennis, but there were no table tennis competitions. Yeah. Okay. So, so notice the preposition at. M was good at English language. And he was good at table tennis. Right. And um, yeah, yeah. And what about you? What were you good at? Uh, I was good at writing, so um, academic subjects. Um, I was also good at maths, but I decided not to continue after I was 16 with some regret. I wish. Uh oh, oh, that's wish a good I, combination. Because uh, yeah. maths and um, the arts, so. And finally, how was your school? How was your school? So how can you describe schools? You can say it was big, small. Uh, uh, all my busy schools were big. School. Yeah, all my schools were big and busy because there were many students. Right, there were many students, and they were all in a city, in a which, city. Was quite, um, which was quite populated, not overcrowded, but quite populated. So, 
uh, the schools were big and um, busy. Okay. Yeah. What about what about what about your school? How was your school? Um, my high school was quite busy, but my because there was so in my town there were many primary schools. There were two oh. middle schools and only one high school. So the high school was the busiest. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, the primary school was was very quiet. Mm. Okay. Um, well, let's summarize everything today. Well, we we've used the past simple tense today, um, like uh, what did you like, what didn't you like, positive and negative. And um, so, with the positive, you say I liked school, um, and the negative i didn't like as as an lhs examples and the past tense to be so my school was singular was or were if it's plural um okay and then we looked at different subjects the different can you remember the different subjects okay so uh maths geography yeah uh, history music and the and, different uh, what else? different schools okay different schools we had kindergarten elementary school uh high school university right boarding uh, school which boarding is school college job right um, a, yeah, a college or where, you sleep, where you sleep. Um, okay, and notice the preposition to be good at something. So I wasn't good at math because I had low marks or low scores. Um, okay, and I, was, I, I wasn't good at physics. Right. Example. I was terrible at physics. Yeah. yeah and um uh, different adjectives to describe it uh, a teacher um strict friendly funny inspiring uh patient helpful helpful and the words adjectives to describe a student we have well behaved and naughty and cheeky like uh a cheeky monkey, Vedanta, and Cherno. We use there were so there were twenty-five to thirty students in this class. Okay, so we'll finish okay. there. Em. Yeah, I think so. We have finished. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I think we have another one tomorrow at six. Okay. I we'll think check. we have another one together tomorrow at six. Yeah. So I'll okay. see you tomorrow, and we have a meeting tomorrow at okay. midday. I'll see you in the meeting. All right. Then. Okay. Thanks, Phil. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye. Everyone. Bye. Bye. See Bye. You next time. Bye.